Hello everybody, Bricks for Dominic and today I'm back in my Minecraft LEGO world and in the last video I had a like goal where if I hit 15 likes I was going to build a village and all of you destroyed the like button. So how about to stop yapping and get to building. So in the last video I had already planned out where I was going to build a village set. So in this place I'm going to build a corner of this desert section so that I could expand the desert biome. So let's go. So first build the desert section, then the jungle. And now, do any of you spot the problem? So I accidentally made the desert at the jungle longer by one block, but thankfully it was a very quick fix and thankfully I found this mistake before I had built any more buildings or even the whole village because it would have taken a very long time to fix it. After that I had built the blacksmith, then the library, the farm, the pen, then the small house and finally the butchers. So now the village is fully built and complete. So first thing that I'm going to say is that this village is based on the old version of the village. So this set was released back in 2016, but if any of you are familiar with Minecraft, well back in 2019 Mojang had made a new update where we changed the designs of all of the villagers as well as updated all of the houses to look more different and unique. So all of the designs for the houses are going to look different from the new designs that all of you might be used to. One inaccurate thing with all of the structures that I'm going to point out straight away is that LEGO made all of the structures a lot smaller when, compar when comparing them to the actual in-game versions. And even though it is inaccurate, I don't blame LEGO for doing that since it would have made the set even bigger and more expensive if it would have made all of the buildings the correct size and it, and, it, and it wouldn't have brought too much value by doing so. So how about we actually start looking at the set and structures. So first thing that I'm going to talk about are all of the accurate things. So first of all we have the torches, I don't know how LEGO could have messed these up but thankfully they didn't. And another surprising accurate thing is actually the path. So when I first started building the set I was confused why LEGO had used a light grey for the path instead of a color like dark tan to represent the dirt path blocks. But I quickly learned that before the path blocks that you all know and love today, villagers actually used gravel for the paths which is really interesting. So now let's talk about the other structures. So let's start off from this corner where the well is. So the well isn't accurate as I mentioned it is a lot smaller than the actual Minecraft well and the design also has some differences. Since the actual LEGO design is since the actual LEGO design is fairly impossible to make. But I think the most important thing is the fact that you can tell that it is a, uh, that it is a well, but that isn't the only inaccurate thing, since the cactus placement is also inaccurate. So when building Steve's Desert, I found out that you can't place a cactus when there are any other blocks surrounding it. And this I did make that mistake by building a cactus next to another block, so I simply had to place down another sand block and then place the cactus on top. So now let's move on to the jungle section. Now let's move on to the jungle section. So first of all, if any of you wondering why I think that this corner is meant to be a jungle, the reason I think that is because the shape of a tree looks really similar to jungle trees and LEGO have also used a similar design to represent other jungle trees and other jungle sets. Now that being said, the design of this LEGO jungle tree isn't super accurate to other jungle trees as it is a lot smaller, but I think that is okay. And if any of you wondering why I used green concrete powder for the grass of a jungle, well that is because back in episode so 7 I talked about using different green colored blocks to represent the different color of grass for each biome and for jungle I chose green concrete powder. So talk about the actual structure, this tent doesn't exist in an actual Minecraft Plains village but I think that is okay. So we all know that a big thing about villagers, about villages is the fact that we can trade with villagers and so LEGO wanted, wanted to capture that function by being able to trade all of these different items with a villager which I think is a nice, nice idea and another inaccurate thing is the shape of a tent in the actual set. Since the way LEGO made the tent is fairly impossible to make, so now let's move on to the blacksmith. So the first thing that I'll say about the blacksmith is A, you can tell that it is a blacksmith and B, the size of a blacksmith is a lot smaller when comparing it to the actual in-game version. That being said, it is recognizable and the set had captured a lot of the important details like an iron fence, a pit of lava, the furnaces, as well as the table in the corner. Another really accurate thing about the blacksmith is also the roof, which looks really good. But one big thing that is missing is a wall on the side as well as a chest, and as I mentioned, the size is really small. So those are the very inaccurate things about the blacksmith, but other than that, it looks fantastic. So now let's talk about the farm, and the farm is actually really really accurate except for the size once again, but other than that fairly big or small mistake, depends how you look at it, everything is perfect. So now let's move on. So now let's talk about the pen, the size is fairly accurate I would say, though the details are still a little bit off because LEGO decided, the, decided to use full blocks on the side, but it does make the pen look more interesting.
And now let's talk about the library. So the library is once again a little bit smaller in size. I also had to add the two doors instead of one because of the size of a Lego Minecraft door. But we'll say that the roof is fairly accurate but not perfect. The inside of the library also looks pretty good. I especially like the bookshelves on the top. And now let's talk about the small house. So the small house isn't the correct size once again. It doesn't have anything in the inside which is accurate to the in-game version. They should have had at least a ladder. And one thing that I think is especially missing are the wood planks that should go around the corridor. But since this house is super small, LEGO weren't able to add those wood planks. Now the place where the house is standing is pretty interesting. It has some emerald ore at the back as well as some snow and ice which I'm going to talk about later. And finally we have the butchers. So the butchers is really similar to the library. The size is once again small. The roof is fairly accurate but not perfect. It does of course have an outside pan area and I would say that, that the inside is also fairly accurate. But I mean yeah, everybody, that is pretty much it when it comes to the village. So now I'm going to talk about my plans for what LEGO Minecraft sets I'm going to build around this area in the future. So let's go. Alright, so I'm first going to talk about the desert, so the place where I'm going to expand the desert is going to be in the middle over here since I still have quite a few big desert sets that I still need to build, but around this area I'm also going to have to somehow fit the Mesa Badland sets as well as the Llama Village, and if any of you do want to see me make the Llama Village, well this video will have to hit 50 likes. Now let's talk about the jungle, so in this corner I guess we now have a start of a jungle, so I'll probably build all of the jungle sets in these two directions, but I won't rush anything for now, then we have a snowy biome, so as I mentioned, the small house is slightly surrounded by some snow and ice, and so I guess I'll have to build a few of the snow sets next to this small house, but for now as I mentioned, I'm not going to rush anything. I also wanted to ask all of you if any of you know a certain command or method that I could stop the snow from melting, because after a while the snow starts to melt, and I do want to fix that. And then we have the plains biome, so there's a very good chance that I might build a few different plain sets to surround the plains village, and after that this small plain section is going to be surrounded by all of the other biomes, like the desert, the jungle, the savanna, the badlands, as well as the snowy sets. And I did also want to point out one other inaccuracy about this plains village set, so this village is missing a lot of the village structures, especially some very recognizable structures like the church, but I think the LEGO still did a great job with the village, since they managed to include a lot of different structures, which I appreciate. But I mean, yeah, everybody, this is going to be the end for this video. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'm sorry that it took such a long time to make this video. March was a fairly difficult and busy month since I had a lot of exams, but hopefully I will bring a lot more videos in April. So I hope that all of you will be subscribed and will be waiting for those videos. But I mean, yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Brooks of them out. Goodbye.